Hi there. Now, in this last part of the question, we're asked to work out the area of this whole shape here. You'll notice I've put in the area of the sector BDE, which we had to work out in an earlier part of this question. It was 17.5 centimetres squares. And also another question asked us to work out this angle here at B, DBC, and it's 0.9432 and so on radians. So if you'd like to have a go at finding the area of this shape, haven't done so already, I'll just give you a moment to pause the video. When you come back, you can compare your work solution with mine. Okay, welcome back then if you had a go. Well, what we need to do is work out the area of this triangle here, ABE, and the area of the triangle BCD. And then we can add together the three shapes. So in order to work out, let's say, this triangle here, BCD, I'm in a good position because I've got two sides, okay, 7.5 centimeters and 5 centimeters and the included angle. And we should be familiar with the formula that works that out. Remember, if you've got a triangle where you know two sides, let's say this one, we'll call it A, this one we'll call B, and this angle here, C, you should know that the area is equal to a half times the product of the two sides, that's AB times the sine of the included angle. So that's what I'm going to use here. And if we do that, let's just put an intro. We've got the area of triangle BCD. That's going to equal half then the two sides. That will be 5 times 7.5. And it's times the sine of the included angle. And that included angle then is 0 0.9432 and so on radians. So... Because we're taking the sine of an angle in radians, you need to have your calculator in radians mode. And if you do that, you should find you end up with 15.1770 and so on centimetre squares. Now that I've got the area of this triangle, I'm going to work out the area of the triangle ABE. And I can do it by a similar method to this because... I, if I know this angle in here, it's easy to work out. It's going to be pi radians, the equivalent of half a turn, minus these two. So I'll have that angle, and then I just need to work out this side, AB, and I can do that by just trigonometry for a right angle triangle. So let's go and get this angle in here, okay? That will be angle ABE, and it's going to be pi radians minus the sum of the other two angles, 1.4 plus 0.9432 and so on radians. Do this on your calculator and you should find you get 0.7983 and so on, and that be in radians, okay? So now I've got that angle, okay? Let's just mark it in, 0 0.7983. Now that I've got that angle, by trigonometry from this triangle ABE, I've got the hypotenuse, I've got an angle, I want the adjacent side. Well, that's going to be the cosine of this angle. The cosine of this angle equals AB divided by 5. And if I rearrange that equation for AB, I see that AB equals 5 times the cosine of the angle 0 0.7983 and so on. Again, make sure your calculator is in radians mode because you're taking the cosine of a angle in radians. Do that and you should find you get 3.4892 and so on centimetres. So I'll just mark that in there as 3.4892 and so on. That's measured in centimetres. So, two sides then, included angle, I can use this idea. So the area of the triangle ABE is going to be equal to half the product of the two sides that surround the angle.
that would be the 5 and then 3.4892 and then that's multiplied by the sine of the included angle which is 0 0.7983 and so on radians. So again make sure you're in radians mode on your calculator and if you do that you should find you get 6.2473 and so on and that will be measured in centimetre squares. Now what we'll do is just remove this and all I need to do now is just add up the areas. So the area then of the shape ABCDEA -E okay, is going to equal well, the area of the triangle ABE, which we've just worked out, is going to be 6.2473 and so on. Obviously, I haven't got much room here, so we'll just work downwards. Plus the area of the sector here, which is 17.5. Plus the area of the triangle BCD, which we worked out up here was 15 point one seven seven zero and so on. So what does this come to? Well if you add it up it comes to 38.924 and so on. And we've got to give this to three significant figures. So to three significant figures this is 38.9 centimeters squares to three SF, three significant figures. Okay well I hope that's given you some idea anyway on how to uh, tackle this question if it gave you any problems.